Joining us now is Sonia Satra, and she may look very familiar to you for many reasons, in particular television, uh, but she's joining us now with her amazing company. So you now have become a motivational speaker, a certified coach, and you changed people's lives. Yeah. <laughs> so not only did they watch you and they were, you were changing lives through your acting, but now you're changing lives through this. So right. tell us about this, Sonia. What if it were easy? So. Being an actress, I learned very early on that you get rejected a lot in that business. And so I started to study mindset probably as much as I studied acting. And I, as a result, I just became the person that people would come to to often ask questions or get life help. And so when I was pregnant with my daughter, I decided to become a life coach and uh, I really loved it. I loved watching people transform and to really do what it was that they wanted to do. I felt like I had done that when I went for acting and here I had the opportunity to, to give that back and to help other people get, get the courage and, and take the steps and actually go for it. To actually be on the stage of life. Exactly. To put them Whatever their goals are. Present. Exactly. Right. To be very present. Exactly. So that book uh, is really about how you do that. But in the meantime, I, cr I created a process called Modicize. Yes. It's a trademark <laughs> process. It's a seven-step mindset reset process. And it's really taking life coach and integrating it into movement or exercise because we know that the brain changes dramatically when you exercise. It, it opens up, it makes you more creative, more focused, more motivated, <laughs> helps you problem solve and make better decisions. So it's harnessing all of that power and then being very intentional about your mindset. So it's so putting the while two you're moving. while you're moving. Okay. So many people will say, oh, I came up with my best ideas when I'm moving, right? I heard Beethoven created all of his music while he walked. That's absolutely, I read that as well, right? right? So, bum, 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 bum. Exactly, right? da, 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 while walk, you're walking. Walk, 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 right. Well, we know now <laughs> that's not a mistake. Your brain actually <laughs> is wide open. So it's taking that and asking a series of questions that will guide you on the process to your life strategy. How does one start? Because it says, if it were easy, because they, it, can, it can be easy, right? Well, the question, what if it were easy, I always joke, because it's right. a million dollar question, because it really was a question I asked my husband at a time. He's a producer. He had this first look deal. We just had my daughter and he was out there thinking that we went to LA and he thought he was going to just, you know, do, sign another contract. And instead he got fired. Whew. Yeah. And so we're sitting in our car at like the bottom of some car deck in LA and we're just like, and he's panicked. Like, what are we gonna do? Oh my God, this is so impossible. And he was sort of obsessed with this number of a million dollars. I don't know why, I think as an artist, you just feel like this is some safety number. And so he's just like, it's impossible. And like, well, it can't be impossible. Somebody's done it. And he's like, but it is, you know, this business. And I was like, well, you know, my life coach brain, I just You're started was fail. like, come up with something, you know? And I was like, well, what if it were easy? What would you do? And he is just like, it's not easy. You know that. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, but what if it were? And then all of a sudden he started laughing and he was just like, well, I don't know if it were easy. I guess I would start my own company. And he did. The next day he called up a friend. They started a company and a year later, he made a million dollars. Beautiful. And so, so he kind of created that. He created right? that. Self-fulfilling prophecy. It he was. saw it. He did it. He took the steps to make it possible. Exactly. And a lot of these steps. And But the what if it were easy broke it open. It gives you permission to really look at well, what is in your heart? What is it that you're dreaming of? And it could be being an actress. It could be having a child. It could be being in a relationship. It could be, I don't know, starting some creative thing. It doesn't matter. It's what's personal to you. And that's what matters. I like the fact that the, inside the book, there's illustrations. There's also these like really cute like QR codes, yes, right? They right. help you, you could literally just dive right into the book. Exactly, so the QR codes will take you to a video where I guide you through that particular exercise and mindset. So every step has one, what I call Modi minute. So it's it actually is easy. <laughs> it's one <laughs> exercise okay. uh, that you can do that starts to open up your brain change your physiology, which we know also changes our nervous system and how we think and how we feel, and then answer the questions that are guided in that process. Do you have to be in great physical condition? Because it looks to me like these are pretty simple. So even someone that's not like already like planking, 
right? Exactly. It, it's possible it's to work with this. It's 100% possible. And I do um, alternatives if you're just starting out and getting back into exercise. So there's, uh, there's ver different versions of it. And if for some reason that exercise doesn't work for you, walk and still do the mindset. The key is to move. But those exercises are very, I want to say choreographed to match the mindset. Yes. So it's actually and the, breathing. the breathing and the movement. So okay. like we'll do like a bicep thing and that's pulling in. We'll do a lunge and that's what's a step you can take forward in your life. So it matches what you're doing. So it anchors it into your body. I love this. And there's even these chapters. I love what they're called. So chapter four is the daring you. Right? <laughs> yes. So um, do you recommend that people do them like in order? Should I read the whole book first and then implement it? What do you suggest? So the first half is actually the mind mindset reset process. And that does help if you do it in order. It's a very systematic process. It's only seven steps, so that's not that hard. And the second half is really what I call the superpowers, all these other things that you might need to accomplish a goal, like be daring or patient, or sometimes you need courage, or other times you need creativity. And so those are 12 different superpowers that each have a movement and a mindset and a series of other tips. And those can be read on an as need basis. And when did you start this journey, Sonia? Oh, goodness. <laughs> a while ago? A little while ago? A little while ago. I started prior to COVID um, and, and I decided to book. write the book right before COVID and then rewrote it a couple of times during COVID. And here and we here are. It is. It's okay, out. so congratulations on your new baby. So <laughs> this you. is uh, What If It Were Easy and What If It Were Easy. Uh, thank you for watching. I'm Donna Drake. We've been visiting with Sonia Satra.